Hey, what's up, everybody? Just want to do this quick video. Um, I've been accused in the last three, four weeks, multiple times of clickbaiting you. Do you think that my videos are clickbait? Now, I have seen severe clickbaiting with some other people within this community, which I'm not going to mention because I don't want to start any trouble. However, I do not believe my videos at all really are clickbait. But if you have any grievances with my channel, the way I present my videos, please leave them. Leave the comments in the comment section of this video. But let's go over some videos that I have been accused of clickbait on. So just yesterday, and the reason why I am making this video was I have been accused of clickbait on this video right here from yesterday. And it, the title reads, do we finally have the reverse design for the new 2021 silver and gold American Eagles? Now, I do believe this will be the reverse design. I could be wrong. I could be correct. Who knows? But the title is in the form of a question. Do we finally have the new reverse design? I did not say we do have the new reverse design. Now, if I do clickbait my titles, I am doing a very horrible job of clickbaiting because my views, as you can see, are not up to par with a lot of other members of this community uh, with having this video. If this was a clickbait 17 hours ago, only had 425 views. This video yesterday, talking about the U.S. national debt and does silver and gold care about our national debt had 126 views. Not many people watch that video. Um, so if I do clickbait, I am doing a very poor job of clickbaiting my titles. Now, another one that I was accused of clickbait on was I sold my silver stack. Now, I did not put on here that I sold my entire silver stack, but however, I did pretty much sell my entire silver stack. I have in the form of just bullion coins, probably about 15 ounces, including American silver eagles. I have like one Canadian maple leaf le left, but I have very, I sold over the last couple of months, probably over two thousand ounces of silver and i have about 15 ounces of bullion silver left so yeah i sold my silver stack true statement that title is not clickbait and i put on here not clickbait however i was accused of clickbait on that video i just don't feel that it was clickbait and then one video that i would say that you could probably say is clickbait However, I still don't think it would be, and I, I'm not sure I got accused of clickbait on this video, but this video about a, a little over a month ago, I think this was, and I said in the title, lowest mintage American silver eagle ever being released in 2020, question mark. Again, in the form of a question. Now, the thumbnail is of a gold coin. And I did not put the silver thumbnail in there because we did not have the image yet of the silver. We didn't know the mintage yet of the silver coin. However, I wanted to speculate and strike a conversation. Could this be the lowest mintage silver? Could it be lower than the 2019 S Enhanced Reverse Proof American Silver Eagle? And it turns out that it's not. It's going to be the third i believe the third lowest we're at seventy five thousand. um but just wanted to strike a conversation could this be could this silver v75 75th anniversary of the end of world war ii be the lowest um again it was in the form of a question if i would have said 2020 is going to be the lowest vintage american silver eagle ever that there would have been clickbait. I just, I don't feel this was really clickbait, but if there was a clickbait title that I have done, it, it could have been this one. So do you believe that I clickbait my videos? Please let me know in the comment section below. 
If you do feel that I clickbait, please give me an example which video you think was a clickbait title and why you think it was clickbait. If you have any other grievances of my channel, the way I present my videos, please leave that in the comment section as well. Let's talk about it. Let's have a discussion. Now, while we are on the topic of my videos and how I present my videos, there are times where I will make mistakes. I very rarely ever write notes down. I have a thought in my head and then I turn the, the camera on or the computer on start recording and that is usually how I do my videos. If I do take notes, typically I don't even look at the notes, so I usually don't even take notes or write down what I want to say. I freestyle most of my videos, so on occasions I will make mistakes while doing them and you are free to correct me on those but if i do make a mistake on my video it is not intentional and if i do make a mistake on my video i usually put a pin comment on that video saying i made a mistake and then i correct my mistake in that pin comment now while we are on a topic of clickbait and how i do my videos in a lot of cases you will see that I have very opinionated uh, videos about precious metals, about the price of silver and gold, about if the price is undervalued, if I think the price is overvalued, and a very opinionated um, topics on our economy. Based on a lot of my recent videos, you may be able to tell that I am very bullish on our economy especially with this current administration. Now, being bullish on our economy in this community is not a very popular topic. If I really wanted to clickbait, I would make videos about how our economy is horrible, how we're gonna be going into a depression, um, about how gold's gonna be going up to five thousand ten thousand dollars an ounce about how silver is going to be going to fifty dollars an ounce a hundred dollars an ounce i do not make those type of videos because i do not believe that is the case um however if i wanted to get more views if my reasoning for doing videos was to just get views those are the type of videos that i would make however i want to make honest opinionated sometimes factual videos so for that reason because i want to make honest what i honestly believe videos i do not talk about how we are how our economy is going straight to the gutter and how silver and gold is going nothing but up my honest opinion about gold is that it is currently overvalued does that mean that I will not buy gold while it is at these prices? I may buy an ounce, I may buy a half or a quarter ounce, but I am not going to be buying too much gold. I believe silver is also, to a certain degree, spot price is a little bit overvalued. However, silver is not horrible as, as it relates to spot price. However, I believe the premiums are ridiculous and that's why I chose to sell a the majority of my silver stack because at some point I want to transfer that money into gold possibly buy a little bit of silver back if the price and premiums get down to where I think they should be if they don't then I have no problem with not buying a whole lot of silver and putting the majority of that money into gold if and when I think the price is right. I don't like having that fear of missing out. And I think right now with silver and to a lesser degree with gold, a lot of people are having that fear of missing out. And I just do not want to be a victim of that FOMO. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Appreciate everybody for watching this video and having this discussion with me. Please leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know any grievances, any problems, 
if you think that I do clickbait my titles, if you have any positive comments to say about my channel or the way I present my videos, I would be more than happy to read those and comment back to you on that as well. Thanks to everybody for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will talk to everybody on my next video. Thanks a lot, everyone.